This is one vision of the future of cruising. No expense spared, cutting edge design and all on a massive scale. It will be a few years before these dreams become a reality, but for many holidaymakers in Britain there's no need to wait. They've already been bitten by the cruising bug. New figures from the Passenger Shipping Association, celebrating its 50th birthday at the Greenwich Maritime Museum, say the number of Brits taking to the high seas has more than doubled in the past decade. One and a half million people are expected aboard in 2008. Bill Gibbons is director of the association. We feel that the credit crunch is actually going to be a big advantage to the cruise industry. We think actually people will switch from other types of holidays where they can't budget so easily and where they, they don't have all things like their meals and their transport uh, and their entertainment included. And it's not just glamorous cruise ships that are attracting new business. This is how the cross-channel ferry could look in the future. And after years of decline, more and more people are getting back on the ferries. Simon Johnson is from P&O. Ferries is for everybody. It doesn't matter whether you live in a council state or whether you're single parents or whether you're families or groups, coach passengers. Really, if we take all walks of life actually travelling over there and everybody's entitled to an hour and a half on a short sea crossing to an overnight crossing with a cabin. Jeremy Skidmore from the Daily Telegraph has been reporting on the industry for years and thinks it's never looked so healthy. It's become much more exciting. Cruise ships these days are very innovative. You've got surf pools, you've got skating rinks, you've got West End theatres. So it's much more exciting and a lot of the formality and stuffiness has gone. So as the Passenger Shipping Association marks its 50th birthday, they have a lot to celebrate. The latest figures even suggest the average age of people taking a cruise is falling. It's now a sprightly 53.